Wolfpack, what is going on, Savage here today? Look, I have seen great players with great movement and great aim lose a lot of games and not have as many wins compared to players who have decent aim and decent movement but have map knowledge. But I say that to say, you don't need the best aim in the world in order to be a good player. You don't need to have the most crazy accuracy and the best loadout in order to win a battle royale. It's all a myth. All these loadout videos is cool, but don't think that that's the full answer to the story. In this video, I'll be showing you the full answer to the story. Get this video to 500 likes, guys, but let's dive into it. So take them all the pistol and see what happens. Sometimes I like to give the guys in the gulag benefit of the doubt. Like that is, I'm, I'm really trying not to be a dick, but that's just shameful. Ladies and gentlemen, tip number one, and I want you guys to literally embed this in your head because this is the one of the main points I've been saying for four years of spectating Warzone or Battle Royales. Stop crouch walking. It does not matter if they hear your footsteps or not. First off, the audio in this game is ass, so they probably won't. Movement, attentiveness, decisiveness, accuracy, all of these things are way more important than the ability to be stealth. And this is one of the most argumentative points I've ever made, and people just come at me saying, what's that? this no i'm telling you right now if you continue to crouch walk now ranks different and we'll get into that during this video but if you continue to crouch walk for no reason especially in something like a like a gulag or a simple 1v1 you might get lucky here and there but you're you you will continue to have the kd you're at right now all right here we are spectating meek already in a gunfight <laughs> Now, before we talk about that gulag, right there, a simple, a simple thing, right? You're getting shot at, you're cracked. Again, stop relying on only audio. You have so many senses when it comes to gaming. Play. He instantly ran to a bathroom, put himself in a corner, unplated, needed, needed to reload his gun, and he just got pushed. It's simple as that. Look at the stick drifts. Look at that. Guys, if you need a new controller, you want to upgrade a controller, check out AIM controllers. Links in the description below, guys. These things are amazing. I have a huge discount right now if you use code SAVAGE at checkout. Just check it out. Click the link below. Just check it out. Build your controller. Sit there. Debate it. Trust me. They come standard with digital triggers and adjustable triggers. Standard. You don't have to pay extra for it. Period. Right, well, while we're spectating this, let's discuss the gulag. Let's discuss crouch walking. Let's discuss why it's such a bad tactic and why it pisses me off so much. And you know, I don't get mad at it. I get disappointed in players because I don't, you know, there's, there's a huge misconception. Everyone thinks like battle royales are supposed to be fun. No, battle royales are supposed to be competitive. That's what they were. That's what they've always been. And I say that to say I know that everybody that plays this game, you know, you can drink with the friends, you can play with the homies for sure, but like I know everyone that plays this game wants to be better than where they're at. Always. Even the top tier goats want to be better than where they're at. He got kicked for an activity. Wow. First time we spectated that. So if you guys are continuing to crouch walk everywhere, and I'm actually going to remove the audio from the ghoulie to show you guys how unimportant it is. I didn't hear him crouch walking, clearly. I had no idea he was there. And I still shit on him with a pistol. A pistol. And that's what kind of why I do these spectating videos and I go pistols only because if I am spectating and I'm able to kill you with a pistol, then thank God I'm gonna spectate you. But if you're able to shit on me, we might be all right. Now we have a player chopper. This could be aggressive, although the way he's landing it, maybe not so much. We have multiple enemies. He parked the chopper on us, but we hear people below us, and, and there we go. So let's discuss holding angles. This is a great time to have a conversation about that. Guys, holding angles is, is simple. There are two options he could have done during that, and this looks like an aggressive team, so I'm excited to spectate this. The guy flying a chopper, I don't know, maybe not. But when it came time to hold that staircase you're being three stack you're by yourself there's a good chance you're probably going to die right one of the things he could have done was again just backed away from the staircase 
held the stairs at an angle and waited for them to come up. But instead, he just went prone instantly out of panic and he just got headshotted. He couldn't see the enemy. The enemy could see him. Why is that? Because just of how the angle worked. Two, he could have rotated out the building. There were doors, there were windows, there were multiple opportunities. He could have jumped out to try to play ring around the rosy with his team. They were separated. Chopper on the rooftop. Guy below us shot us. There was a third teammate, but he wasn't around us because we only got shot by one enemy. So with that little bit of separation, a lot of times you guys can take advantage of the enemy squad. There's a lot of 1v3s I'm able to take on and able to win because of a little bit of separation. A lot of people stack in this game because better players are able to knock them out if there's a little separation. So if you are in the middle of a gunfight, whether you're solo, tree, or quad, and there are multiple enemies on you, you have to try your best to analyze where they're at. A lot of ways to do that is audio. But Savage, you said audio? And I get that. Audio is, is crap. Also visual, right? You need to start looking around. The moment he just went prone and committed to it, he didn't even try to outplay. If he would have jumped out the window, he might have seen the third enemy by himself. He might have been able to come up behind the enemy, pushing us, and got him caught out. If, you, if players continue to run into bathrooms, sit in corners, crouch walk, drop prone and hide, try to hold the staircase without really trying to utilize deductive reasoning or analyze the entire situation, the outcomes we've been watching this video will continue to happen. Now, now that Cronin's a bad, a bad mother. That thing's badass. I don't have it unlocked yet because I'm lazy, but I, I do pick it up off dead bodies. This thing is sweet. Now let's talk about let's talk about rank play. Just for a quick second. This isn't a rank video, and a lot of you guys don't, guys don't play rank, but ranked has done a great job of really de demonstrating when you should play aggressive and when you should play passive. Now, right now we have top 250s running around in bronze lobby, so it is what it is. But there are certain situations where crouch walking is fine. If you're pushing staircases and you know the enemies above you, you don't want them to hear you. Crouch walk up of it, up it, ADS walk up it. Thought he had to throw a knife. If you're go, if you're near a buy station, you need to buy back your team, and you're in an unfortunate position, you're, you got the pressure on you, and you want to check and see if the area is clear. ADS walk. I don't really ever recommend crouch walking for the most part, but ADS walk. Check the area out. If you want to crouch walk, check the area out, but just keep it short and sweet you want to avoid just falling into the habit of when you're nervous crouch and i'd say honestly 50 percent of players the moment the nerves kick in they crouch and or self in a corner and we've watched it three times this game three times we've been spectating for a total of five minutes we've seen it three times All right, we do have do, we do have an aggressive squad. Going to be going for bounties to chase down kills. That's pretty self-explanatory. Again, I know rank's not for everybody, and and right now, guys, look, I want to encourage you guys to give rank a try when they take it out of beta. Ranked is one of the only things that I really love about gaming. I played ranked League of Legends, ranked Counter Strike. I played. Um, a ranked Overwatch, ranked Rainbow Six Siege, the list goes on. I played a lot of ranked games, and there's a beauty to it because you actually play with people of your skill level, and you're able to practice against people of your skill level, and you're able to excel eventually in playing in that bracket, and you can slowly work your way up. It's a great way to become a better gamer. Right now, and it's not COD's fault, it's in beta for a reason. They're trying to get a feel for it, and they gotta fill the brackets. Right now, if you're bronze, you're, 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 you're SOL. It's just it's just a simple fact right now. It's just bad dude every lobby every rank game. We're in there's a top 250 player In fact the last two days I've played eight games and I've been killed by top 250 teams I've killed a few But I mean these teams play so well together that when I'm playing with randoms There's just not really much you can do and you guys as well that play with randoms There's not much you can do so again a lot of people disheartened right now. I saw Modern Warzone tweet out uh, Do you think ranks in LRW and I think most of those most of those were in L just give it a chance when it gets out of beta. Once you're able to play in brackets that are actually supposed to be yours, it will be a better experience for everybody. I promise you. Right now, we just have, you know, some of the better players in the world basically running lobbies like they're VPNing. They're not, but that's what it feels like. 
All right, so this is a simple gatekeep right now. I would like to see Pegasus go to the right-hand side because they could wrap wide right. And we've got blue to the left. I'm not really sure where green's at. I don't see green on the... Oh, he's right in front of us. Wow, I'm blind. And so here we are predicting the right rotation. And green's doing a great job trying to cut him off from that. And here we go. Now, the ISO is a, is a beamer. But I will say it is a one tap gun. And what I mean by that is, and I might be using the incorrect term, but it will leave everybody one tap. Most of the time you're going to get armor crack. You're going to get uh, all the damage, but eventually your teammate will probably end up getting the knock because this gun just takes too many bullets. It reminds me of the Kilo early days. The Kilo before it was really good when people thought it was good and it really wasn't. It was a, it was a beamer. But it was a hit marker machine, dude. And we could literally just clean up the kills with any other gun in the game. And that's what the ISO kind of reminds me of. It, it's, a, it's a great gun. I still think it's an S-tier weapon. But you really got to hit your headies. You really got to hit all of your shots. And you got to pray to God there's no cover near the enemy. Um, so say, say try using the Cronin. I always pick it up from people I kill. Because, again, I'm too lazy to level it up. But it is a demon. Right, we saw this team use the helicopter earlier, and they're going to continue to use the helicopter. I don't believe this team is going to go for a helicopter strat win. They seem pretty hyper, uh, I would say competitive. They seem pretty, pretty hyper focused on getting kills and, and racking up. They are looking at good positions right now, though. We can't pull the mini map up, but judging by where the end zone was, I would assume this is kind of central location. Plus, on top of that, the bounty is here. Now, watch the bounty. Let's see if they adapt and even notice the helicopters here. Even notice that they're a threat. Not at all. They're being shot by another team. And instead of them, you know, jumping off, going to the second floor. They remain on the rooftop. Now, I'm not sure who. Streaked your boy. Pretty sure it was the other team. All right, look at this. The, the enemy team that's on top of the garage is in, the, is in a terrible position. They got to move off that roof, but they're so freaking hard-headed, they don't want to. It's, it's, four, it's th three clusters and one precision. You're wild for this, brother. Pegasus is being a great teammate going for the res. I do think he was absolutely out of pocket for trying to res him where he was earlier. But this is going to be a good position. We have different things we can do to push this enemy team. We can wait for them to push us. We could go up there and push them. And again, I don't believe that this enemy team is competent. And one of the things you need to do as players is try to analyze the enemy teams you're getting in combat with, judging by their play skill. The fact that they were in the terrible position, the fact they were using, you know, that tarp as cover and concealment was just absolutely wild. They should have just jumped off, got to the second floor and played that situation the best they could. We talked about it earlier, guys. A little bit of separation can get you hurt. We have the enemy cracked right now. We could take this easy fight, but we're allowing these enemies to really outplay the shit out of us. Guy behind us as well. I gotta turn around. He goes for the XE. Wow, this isn't ranked, brother. All right, so that situation there. We have the enemy cracked. The enemy intimidated your boy Pegasus. Now, why? Why did he intimidate him? He had a, he had a diamond or a... I don't know. He had some kind of CDL skin on. Look, diamond. So he, he thought he was a good player, and the enemy was act, actually a good player. His movement was great, but we had him cracked. All we had to do was round that right-hand side and get the shots off, and that's an easy win. Secondly, we saw the other enemy climb the ladder and not jump back down, but when we played it up, instead of peeking that direction, utilizing it as a heady, he decided to turn his back and run. That gave enemies ample amount of opportunity to come in and pinch him from behind. The enemy that came up that ladder ended up wrapping our left while we were taking on the guy to our right. You got to play the situations. If he would have jumped up and shot that man using the cu using the cover, he would instantly force a 1v1 fight, and the situation would have been better. Two, even though he was damaged, he could have still outplayed it. He could have tried to outplay it, but instead he went for the execution. Get the knock, 180, and try your best to play the fight, or at least play again. Play the cover of that little building, that little ring around the rosy area where we died next to. It's not, it's not an impossible fight, but so many people just kind of give up. And these guys are good players. I don't think they're bad in any stretch of imagination. Just poor decision making in that one. Even great players go for X's when they probably shouldn't. And Diesel committing to that top right there. We know that that team is good. And this is where comms are important, right? Even if Diesel wasn't paying attention when he was spectating us. 
actually using the gulag. And well, even even if he could spectate us, um, Pegasus should be telling him right now, like, yo, that team is actually goaded. Do not land there. And if Pegasus said that, your boy landed there anyway, well, they're destined to... Oh, my God. They're just chilling. Now, we're not going to call them loadout campers because they're, it's their loadout. It's ballsy of him trying to take these shots. We don't have much ammunition. Good players, questionable calls, for sure. For sure. And mm, I think he, I think he could have taken this team. I really do. Definitely do. All right, I don't know where your boy's going. I'm not buying him back, bro. You ran off for what? For what, homie? Yeah, you're stacked. GG, brother. Hope you had fun playing. Try again. Right now, he's like, Team Bobby back, help! There's, there's, a, there's a weapon. There's a real-life gun right there, homie. There's a loadout weapon to your left. Right? You just passed it. It's a loadout M4. You're, on, you're standing on top of it. We go from spectating that to spectating this circus. And to be fair, like, you know, I don't know the full story about this team, clearly, because we just started spectating them. But initially, I even said, I think your boy could have took up, taken on the squad because of how they were playing. They were unobservant. They didn't hear the parachute. They didn't see the parachute. They didn't even care about the parachute. And they all ego peeked the shit out of us when we were trying to throw Molly at them. They got the kill off, but it was still a crazy peek. I, I I still think it's wild that he went over there. Now, he happened to find an orange crate, and he happened to uh, get back safe, but if he would have stayed together with his team, this fight could have been different. Not to mention, pay attention to the ground loot. There's, there was literally an M4, a ground, uh, not ground loot, a loadout M4 sitting on the floor. We need to be covering right now. I don't know why we're reloading. If we get pushed right now with 83 bullets, we're going to get fried. It's wild. You gotta drop the habit of always reloading, guys. You have to. It's gonna it's gonna end up getting you killed. We gotta loot faster than this. We're being sniped at right now, brother. We got did we just get two SMGs? I think we have two SMGs. I'm very interested to see how this plays out. I mean All right, so right now, time is of the essence. We have a few seconds, and instead of peeking, trying to figure out what to do, we're sitting here staring at what? Our inventory, the gas, our teammates. All this shit's cool. All of this stuff's awesome. We should have dropped plates earlier the moment you picked them up. We should have done all this shit sooner. This is the time to analyze. We should be rotating, trying to figure out where to go, trying to figure out where the enemy teams are, because this rotation's hard. It's out in the open. The other enemy team's on the rooftop. They've got that shit locked down, and again, every second you take it in game of hesitation, as a second, you and your team are going to get clapped. Unfortunately, it got, again, they were just being held. The precision got them. He might be able to get it off. Look at all the clusters going around in-game. This is crazy. Now, this is the dumbest res ever because look at the rooftop. The guy was peeking right there. Oh, 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 oh. Does he, oh, shit. Who would have guessed? Now, he's lucky he didn't get freaking shot. And he's lucky he didn't get killed, I should say. Oh my God! We need. Do we have to have? Do we have to make another video on aim, guys? Do not shoot your gun unless the enemy is in your reticle. Do not shoot unless the enemy is at least in your sight. He wasted so many bullets just spraying and praying. Also, biggest flaw of that was the fact that again they, they were hesitant. But the biggest thing they didn't work together. If you're going to be hesitant, at least rotate together, at least stay together. They got clapped by one fucking dude. That one guy killed three of them. One guy. If they would have been stacked as a three man, probably wouldn't have happened. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, take advantage of a little bit of separation. The enemy did, that, did a great job of that. And he got three kills. 
if you're ever being stacked by three people and you know you're dead again rotating around buildings trying to confuse the enemy and cross separation is the greatest tactic you guys can do while being stacked will it always work hell no will it most sometimes work absolutely and trust me even attempting it even if it fails is still a better idea than the latter of people just sitting there waiting to be stacked like this I don't know if it's team wipe or not. He might got a team wipe alert, but we need to be holding the staircase. We need to be paying attention. We need... I'm guessing he got a team wipe. I wouldn't pay attention to the number counts. It is a 2v1v1. God, that Krona is so nasty, dude. I've got to unlock that today.